The maintenance of the linotype, it's very important to keep the machine lubricated. But we do not want to over lubricate. We don't want to get oil where it doesn't belong. So we have to be sort of careful when we're putting the oil in the oil holes and oil cups that we wipe clean and make sure that none is excess oil. Very important. There's many oil holes on the machine. We might not get all of them, but we're going to try to get as many as we can. And then we can come back later and see the ones we miss. There's an oil hole right here, a very important one right here in the disc. Just drop the oil in there. Wipe off the excess. Then you can look down in here, there's a place here, these little slides, you can put a little oil here, a little oil here, just to have, just to have some oil on there to have it lubricated. Wipe off any excess. There's an oil hole right down in here. Make sure we get a drop in there. A the corresponding place. one over here. Put a drop in there. And then we come up here and further up there's more oil holes here. We put a drop in this one. There's a corresponding one back here, and one here, one here, and then we wipe them off. Any excess comes off. Another hole, another drill hole here, oil hole. Then we come around the back a little bit more, an oil hole here. Put some oil in that. There's an oil hole here. Put some oil in there. See a piece of metal don't belong? We just clear that off of there. And then this thing here, we want to get some oil on this. Down in there's a little groove right here, oil hole. It'll come in all kinds of all kinds of ways and sizes and shapes. Now the little hole here. Okay, there's a couple up here. Old hole here. There's another old hole. Uh, let's see, right over here. See this one here? Oh, and that one. Clean it off. Now down the bottom there's something. Way down here where we can hardly see. There's old holes down here. There's one right here. Put some oil in that hole. Let me lift that up and put some oil in that hole. Clean off. There's a corresponding one over here. We have several oil hole here, and there's one here, and one on the corresponding here. There's also on the other end. There's the same kind of oil holes on the other end of this shaft here. And then there's an oil hole up here for the stacker, the sort stacker. There's a grease hole right here. That's a special tool that needs a, a grease gun to put grease in there. And then there's several of those in the back there. You can't see them because it's, it's too dim back there. Connect there and bring this back out. And there's two oil holes. The other end of the shed. Remember we oiled those a little while ago. And we come down with our oil can, put a drop in here and a drop in here. Make sure we get her cleaned off. We don't want any excess. And that's it. And while you're at it, you can clean off any dirt or dust you see. It's always good to keep everything as clean as possible. We have another surface here. We can put some oil down here and so a little bit on our finger. We don't need much, just a little bit to make it slide easy. Okay, do the down. top part, the top ones again. This one here, you mean? Yeah. Roll that oil across there, across here, across here. Okay, we have uh, several oil holes here. There's one here. There's a, a screw in here that has to come out, and then you put some oil in there and put the screw back in. There's several oil holes down in here where I'm pointing, down in here. Some corresponding ones over here. So those all are little holes that get oil in, just a little drop of oil, not much. And then this slide here, sometimes you can put a little drop of oil in there in case this is sluggish. Uh, also, the distributor, is, is the distributor box here comes off easily, and there's oil holes in there. There's oil holes on the back.